Hey everyone, I'm Tech Steve, and today I'm gonna to talk about something that I feel is important to myself and a lot of people, and it's better resolution out of your TV set. So if you go to any store right now, everything's 4K at this point. However, the providers of the cable signal or the content is not really up to par. So if you have a cable box underneath your television set, you may be pretty much getting the worst possible picture. Now, a lot of people are complaining that it's fuzzy. I wish I had my own TV set. And the reason is, is because you're not getting all the full signal that you deserve out of your TV set. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to log into applications using your current cable provider's login to get better resolution out of your television set. So sit back and relax and let's get started. Now I'm gonna walk you through how I set up my TVs. And since I don't have a cable box, I need to find the application. So for my main TV service, I use YouTube TV. So for most devices like your LGs and Samsung, all you need to do is go into the search and look for it. And looking at this list, you can see YouTube TV is the fourth one down. I can go ahead and press search. And once I find it, I can go ahead and press on it and I'm gonna go ahead and download it. So once I download the application, I need to sign in. So you can try it for free or you need to sign in. So let me show you how that process works. You can see on the television set, there's a URL. What I'm gonna do is use that and then use my Gmail account that I signed up YouTube TV with to get everything active. So you can see on my smartphone, I now have the URL typed in. All I need to do is press go. Next, I need to enter that code that's on the TV set so it knows which TV is which. And far as I know, it's not case sensitive. Once that code is entered, go ahead and press next. Now you wanna press on the Gmail account that you originally used when you signed up. So I'll just use my TechT demo and I'll get a screen like this that YouTube TV wants to grant access to my Gmail account. I'm gonna go ahead and allow and watch what happens to the TV. Now I have access to all my channels right there on the TV set. So the reason I've been using YouTube TV is because I actually cut the cord years ago and I would tell you there are some channels that I wish they had like A&E and some other channels, but I really love the service because what they do is they log into all the applications. So there's a full-time DVR, there's unlimited storage, first of all. The second of all, you can use it on a smartphone, a tablet, a computer, just anything that has a browser on it. So that's a cool thing about the application. Now, if you have one of those cable providers, they have applications too for all your smart devices, so you can watch contents on the go. In fact, I use this Google TV when I go on trips just because I can plug it into the HDMI and I can store all my applications on here. All it needs is Wi-Fi. In some cases, I can hotspot my phone. So now let's go ahead and talk about how to get everything set up with an application. And just remember, what I'm about to show you will work with most cable providers. All you need to do is get your login and password. So on YouTube TV, what I'm doing is going down to the bottom and I'm gonna find an application that I want to download into the TV set. So let's see, for example, here's something I pay for, it's called Stars Network. Now the great thing about YouTube TV is that it's on demand with all these different programs, so you don't need the application. And some cable companies do have this. However, the biggest thing is that you wanna use the application to get better resolution. So let's go ahead and download the application for stars and then I'll show you how to log in. Just like YouTube, you would go up here and search for stars. Once you find the application, you can go ahead and download it and go ahead and click on it. Once you open up the application, you can see everything here, but if you try to click on something, there's some free shows, but let's say you, want, you pay for this with your account. It's gonna ask you to log in. So what you would do is go ahead and press on login and then we're gonna to go to that website stars.com forward slash activate. With the smartphone up, let's go and press on that URL. And then we're gonna to come to this activation screen and we need to go ahead and enter that uh, code that's on the TV screen. Once that's entered, go ahead and press submit. And then you'll get to this login page. On some application, if you go down here to the very bottom, you're gonna see something that says log in with TV providers. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Go ahead and press on that. And then you're gonna see this long list of different vendors. Now, if you don't see yours on the list, go ahead and press on see all providers. And remember, I have YouTube TV. Let me try to look for it here. And there it is on the screen, I can press on it. Now I can use my Gmail account, 
what I used to sign in earlier. And again, if you have a cable provider, once you click on that, it's gonna ask for your username and password that you log into the application for your cable provider. Once you get that, go and press on it and you'll get a pop-up like this. We're gonna access it again by allowing it and watch what happens to the TV screen. Now I have access to all the series. So for example, if I wanna watch this show right here, I can go over here and press on it, hit play, and it plays like normal. Let's say I go back and at the top of the main screen, if you go over here to where your account is, you can see I have different profiles so you can add multiple people to your household to it. And all applications are not like that. And the last thing, if you look under the gear, this is gonna show your account management. So you got your account settings, your general, and that's pretty much everything you need. And when you're done, you can log out, but most of the time I leave my applications logged in so every time I click on it, I don't have to reauthorize it every time. So now I'm gonna show you guys real quick to see if these main companies have a login so you can use the application on your TV set instead of a uh, cable box. So the top one right here is Comcast. You have AT&T, Charter, in the United States. Now if you go down here, there's also some other providers for different countries like India, all the way down to Canada and Spain. So again, this is to see if the core company has an application that you can use to log into to get access to all the different content. But keep in mind that you still can use the login to access individual applications like I showed you earlier. Now after checking in the LG App Store, there's a few applications I found that will work for some people. So you see here's the Xfinity streaming beta and this has the most users at 19 million subscribers in the US. Now the company that has the second most largest is AT&T and DirecTV. That was a merger to happen. They have 18 million subscribers, but I couldn't find an application for AT&T or DirecTV on the LG menu system. The third largest cable provider in the United States is Spectrum, which is owned by Charter Communication. They have 15 million subscribers. And again, I couldn't find an application for that. So Dish Network and Sling TV has a collaboration together with over 11 million subscribers. Again, on this LG TV set, there's no application. And Cox Communication is the fifth largest in the United States with over 4 million subscribers. Again, no applications for the LG. Now, this makes me want to pull up a Samsung. Let's see what's in their app store so I can do apples for apples. So here we have the Samsung Q60T and let's check out the application. So it does have the Xfinity. So it looks like Comcast are on top of their game. They pretty much have applications on to Samsung and LG. Whoa, this is impressive. The Samsung also supports AT&T TV, so that's two for two. Now, after searching for DirecTV, I don't see this application, but some of those shows might be on the AT&T application, so let's not completely dismiss this just yet. Now, take a look at this. They also support the Spectrum TV application. So, so far, I'm gonna say we're three for three because DirecTV Again, it's part of AT&T. Now let's check the last two providers. So they don't have the Dish Network application, but let's see if they have Sling TV, which is part of Dish Network. And they do support Sling TV. So, so far, Samsung has the most supported application when it comes to these TV providers. Now the last one is Cox Cable. Let's just double check. So after looking, the Samsung does not have a Cox communication application nor does it support anything called Contour, which is usually their series of cable boxes. So now you can see where these cable providers want you to have their boxes, but the downside of it is you're not getting the full resolution. So here's my final words about this whole process. What I would do is if you want to use this service is find an application on your TV set, download it and see if it asks you to log in. If it does, use the application and see if you can find your service providers. Once you figure that out, you know they can connect and then you can add an application to any device that you like. Now, some of them might have a limitation where you can just play it back on one TV at a time, but at least now you have a native application in your product so you can get the best picture possible. So if you like this type of video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for my latest content and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.